Homeward Bound Daily Devotional by Ellen G. White Stay focused on Jesus, April 11th Blessed are your eyes, for they see. Matthew chapter 13, verse 16 Walking side by side, Peter's hand in that of his master, they stepped into the boat together. But Peter was now subdued and silent. He had no reason to boast over his companions, for through unbelief and self-exaltation, he had very nearly lost his life. When he turned his eyes from Jesus, his footing was lost, and he sank amid the waves. When trouble comes upon us, how often we are like Peter. We look upon the waves instead of keeping our, our eyes fixed upon the Saviour. Our footsteps slide and the proud waves go over our souls. Jesus did not bid Peter come to him that he should perish. He does not call us to follow him that we, that, and then forsake us. Jesus read the character of his disciples. He knew how sorely their faith was to be tested, was to be tried. In this incident on the sea, he decided to reveal to Peter his own weakness, to show that he saved, his safety was in constant dependence upon divine power. Amid the storms of temptation, he could walk safely only as in utter self-distrust he should rely upon the Saviour. It was on this point where, <coughs> where he thought himself stronger. Sorry, it was on this point where he thought himself strong that Peter was weak, and un not until he discerned his weakness could he realize his need of dependence upon Christ. Had he learned the lesson that Jesus sought to teach him, he it teaching. In that experience on the sea, he would not have failed when his great test came upon him. Day by day, God instructs his children by the circumstances of the daily life. He is preparing them to act their part upon that wider stage to which his providence has appointed them. It is the issue of the daily test that determines their victory or defeat in life great crisis. Those who fail to realize their constant dependence upon God will be overcome by temptation. We may now suppose that our feet stand secure and that we shall never be moved. We may say with confidence, I know in whom I believe nothing can shape my faith in God and in his word. But Satan is planning to take advantage of our heredity and cultivated traits of character and to blind our eyes to our own necessities and defects. Only through realizing our own weaknesses and looking steadfastly onto Jesus can we walk securely. Homeward Bound 